So what is that thing? So this location here, um, which is on the west side of the house, it actually happens three different times throughout the site, is a product of the unique construction methodology that we had to elevate the house, okay? And specifically, this is for water. Water in and water out of the house, right? So water, I mean, look, it's winter. Unfortunately, it's a nice day here in December right now, but water's gonna freeze if it's totally exposed, right? So most people don't think or realize ever that water comes into their house either through a foundation wall or a crawl space or a foundation in some capacity below grade, right? It has to be four to five feet below grade in order to not freeze at, you know, polar vortex temperatures. Well, we have everything raised above in this house, right? So we have a vertical line of water coming in, a two inch line coming in, and then multiple sanitary lines coming out. And so, you know, we had thought through, okay, what are we gonna do to make sure that it doesn't freeze? And so this chase is really what, what it is is uh, a form, if you will, around, in this case, a sanitary pipe, and then we're gonna blow insulation in there to insulate it, right? So we talked about pouring concrete vaults, which is what you do a lot of times in a larger, more commercial you know, construction, but it just wasn't necessary here. So this corrugated tube um, actually goes down into the ground eight feet, uh, ish, four to eight feet, because we have the, the volume or the void of all that, um, water storage underneath, right? So it has to get through that and then it comes out. And so we'll blow insulation in there around this one and the other two. And I can show you one over there where you can actually look into it and you have a full concept. So we're here on the east side of the house now, and we actually have, this is our incoming water line, okay? And so you can see this pipe will actually be pulled into the middle. Obviously any of that debris that's fallen in there will be pulled out. And then we'll blow closed cell foam insulation around this pipe. Okay, and then it will come straight up into the room and then be connected to a typical water meter like you would have otherwise, but normally that's coming through your foundation wall or up through the house right there, but this will all be insulated. There'll be a cap put on this. This portion will never freeze. Um, same with, we have another sanitary one right there. So sanitary picking up this side of the house. So that's a, and I can show you over here. This is a uh, six inch PVC that ultimately is connected underground. So if you look down in there, you can see the six inch PVC. Okay, so the opposite of the water, this is going out. Technically, this one probably doesn't need to be insulated because this water is free flowing and free falling, but just in case we figured we would. So you can see some structural members that are impeding in that space. So we've had to cut this pipe a little bit and then we'll just reform around that, blow it still solid full of closed cell, which is the most our value per inch that you can get of any type of insulation, right? So um, we'll end up getting our 50 probably around each of these, if not more, um, which is more than enough to keep that insulated. Normally, you know, in a wall, you're gonna have 19 and then a pipe on the inside of that. So just try to stay extra protected. When you say you put on a cap, will this be visible in the home or will it be the floor will go yeah, over it or? Great question, great question. So this particular one here will actually offset Okay, so it'll come up into the um, into the truss bay. Okay, so it'll come up into the truss bay. That will actually offset, get further put right underneath this wall. Right, so the pipes will end up coming down from the second floor or over, you know, put the bathroom over there running through the truss bay, ultimately connect to this pipe underneath my subfloor, but within my deck space still. And then there will still be insulation underneath that, right? So we don't get any freezing as it's running horizontally, which is even more risk. And that will be a combination of both closed cell as necessary and then open cell or bat insulation. And so that all connects and you'll never see that again. That'll all be, you'll see the, the, the big corrugated pipe, obviously, if you look underneath, but you'll never see the PVC and you'll never see the other pieces that are running through the deck. And that's pretty common as well. It would be like in your, if you're standing in your basement looking up and seeing all that pipe run through the, you know, trusses or floor joists. And then once it goes underground, it's gone. Okay, so that you'll never see again. The water pipe over here, you will see. This will be, again, fairly similar to what you would have in a more typical construction where you're going to see the incoming pipe and then immediately met with the village water meter, right? And then from there, it'll branch out, jump into, start jumping into all these, um, you know, stud bays, spider, you know, spider web around the house to go connect all the water. So that you will see, but again, to the naked eye or e even the educated eye, it's going to look no different in the house or around the house other than these big black cords.